You buy a Reddit account, you make your first post and BAM, you are banned. That's what happens to most of you. So in this video we're gonna fix it. We're gonna tell you how to not get banned on Reddit. But first let's talk about the Reddit moderation system. There are two types of moderation systems on Reddit. First one, the AutoMod. It's the automatic moderation system. An algorithm of bots and AI filters all the content and will look for bot-like and automated behavior or stuff which just don't fit in the Reddit terms of services, for example spam. It will just check your account age, shit that you do and just give you a trust score and based on the trust score it will say if your accounts get banned or not. On the other side we have the manual mods. These are just manual people which are sitting there on the subreddits and are moderating the subreddits by themselves. They have way less power than the system but they can ban you from different subreddits manually if you don't follow the rules. If you get banned from enough subreddits you will also get banned from reddit. So you, so you also have to make these people happy. There are four types of reddit bans. The first and most harmless one is the subreddit ban. You posted the wrong content on the wrong subreddit and bam you got banned. Or you posted too much on the wrong subreddit you got banned from the subreddit. It doesn't matter you just post a new subreddit but if you get banned too often you will get banned from reddit at all. Then we have the shadow ban. What does it mean? It's just a ban where you don't see that you are banned. You post your content but nobody sees your content. You don't know you are banned but you are banned. For you it looks like you posted a normal post but nobody saw it. Then we also have the perma ban. What does it mean? You are perma banned if your account is forever banned from Reddit. Another ban is the IP ban. That means nobody on your home Wi-Fi can create accounts anymore because Reddit blocked your IP from creating accounts. We avoid it with proxies. If you want to know more about it, check my proxy guide out. Let's first talk about account management. How to manage accounts without getting banned. First of all, one of the main mistakes you all do and I did and I also promoted it is to post 20 times a day. 20 times a day is way too much to post at the start because you get banned. It's too much. It's spammy, spammy behavior. You can't spam content that much with an account which is not older than one month or I mean has one month of posting history. So the new strategy is to post five times per day per account in the first month. I mean you might think yeah five times a day I won't get any results with it. Yeah you won't get big results with it but that's not a problem because you can use unlimited account. You can create 10 or 20 accounts. I mean I know it costs way more because you have to buy every account for like 50 or 100 dollars but you will get less bands and over time you save money because you can post Post more and more if their account is older and has a good posting history and a high trust score. And if you make no new accounts, don't post in the same subreddits. Let's say with the first account you post an r slash cosplay, then don't make five accounts and post also an r slash cosplay. Then you will detect, yeah, it's the same account and he already was banned and let's ban him again. No, it, you can't do it. I mean, you can do it, but you will get banned. If you don't run a suicide method, it doesn't make sense. How I do it, I have for a model different accounts and every account has his own niche. For example, one account is in the nylon fetish niche. He's just posting nylon stuff and on another account we only post fandom stuff and on another account we only post fitness stuff. But it's all the same girl. But it's just different niches over different accounts. Because the people who have a fandom fetish will look through the fandom reddit account and will be even more attracted. They will think on OnlyFans I will get even more out of it. The people who are interested in fitness then they will look at their account and say oh I like fitness they will see more of it on her OnlyFans. It's just micro niching all your accounts to target them to your only funds that's the goal also for every account you have to use different proxies because if one proxy gets ip banned all of your accounts will get banned at the same time and it's suspicious if you have 100 reddit accounts on one proxy that's very very suspicious i mean who has 100 reddit ac accounts at home let's talk about the account setup mistakes most of you use profile pictures which are very sexually because it attracts subs but the problem is most of you don't know it but reddit doesn't allow not safe for work content is a profile picture of binary. They have always to be safe for work. What does safe for work means? No tits, no nipples, no pussy, nothing. Not too much skin. So at best you will use just a normal profile picture of your face or better if you want to keep it a little bit more mysterious you can use this reddit bitmoji stuff and also buy reddit premium because it gets you a higher trust score. Another setup mistake is if you start to post too early if the account isn't old enough. I mean your account is two days old and you already start posting or not safe for work subreddits. It's not very effective. <laughs> also if it has low karma. If you are under 500 karma I won't even post not safe for work subreddits. Ideal is 2000 karma but under 500 I won't even consider posting a not safe for work subreddits. If you are under 500 and under a month old just farm karma and make your account older or just buy already ready accounts. I get asked about who I buy them. I buy them from set to youcom I mean I know there are a lot of people they sell you bad accounts but you just have to find the right 
like provider. I always buy from different ones. Some work, some I use money on it, but it's just what you have to do if you don't want to build them by yourself. If you want to build it by yourself, check out my complete Reddit guide and tell them more about how to build your own accounts. Another big mistake is posting your OnlyFans link directly after you set up the account. If you post OnlyFans link directly, it somehow lowers your trust score on Reddit and you will get banned way faster. It's just that this is what it is because when it sees there, yeah, he just want to get traffic directly to another site or it's just very spammy behavior. If you have a one year old account which has 4000 karma and in the last year no activity, but then directly after a login, there will be um, OnlyFans link added. It just looks like spam and that someone want to scam something. It's just very suspicious behavior and they don't want it. So before you post or add an OnlyFans link, warm up the account. When you get a new bought Reddit account, first just let them lie on the proxy and on the browser. You just log in into the account and three days you don't touch them. You post nothing. You don't change the bio, you don't change the profile pictures. You do basically nothing. Maybe the only thing you can do is go on other people's posts, upvote them, comment comment and just scroll through it. Make normal user-like behavior that you are just consuming the page. That will get you a higher trust score because it's real user behavior. Also in the first three days when you start to post, only post in safe for work subreddits because somehow you get less bans if you post in safe for work subreddits and it's less suspicious and less fishy if you do it. After three days, if you have over minimum 500 karma and your account is one month old, best you have 2k karma and your account is over a year old. After three days of posting in safe for work subreddits, you can start with one to two posts and not safe for work subreddits and three into safe for work subreddits. After time, you can make more and more not safe for work subreddit posts. But I won't go over five not safe for work posts in the first month. Like I said, it's the start of the video. Let's talk about the reasons why you get banned. Most of you have a shit proxy or a shit account. What is a shit proxy? A shit proxy is a cheap proxy see which everybody uses. For example, most of you uh, tell me you use IP Royale. Not very good because everybody is using it and they don't have a very high quality. Use different ones. I use my own proxies. I have my own proxies, but sometimes I also buy other proxies. For the proxies I use, the link is in the description. I use my own proxies, most of the time mobile proxies, but if you're using rotating ones, they are way safer. But the problem is, if you're not using this on a mobile device, it's very suspicious because who is using your PC with mobile data because rotating mobile proxies simulate mobile data. And it looks very weird to Reddit that someone is, is logging in with his Windows PC on, the <laughs> on Reddit with a fucking mobile data connection. It looks weird. I mean, it can happen if you are give you hotspot to your MacBook if you want to work outside, but it's just a little bit suspicious. So if you use mobile proxies, use not rotating ones for Reddit. Even if rotating ones are way safer and you can reuse them, not like other proxies. But just use high quality static residential. Of course, ignoring subreddit rules is a reason to ban you. I mean, if you get banned from a lot of subreddits, Reddit sees that your account is not very good and you are not a good person and they don't want you on their platform. Don't ignore the subreddit rules. Don't make the moderators mad, even if the moderators are weird guys and don't like you and are very, very weird. Also, posting over Reddit API or bots makes you banned and very very fast because reddit doesn't like apis and doesn't like automated bot behaviors so just don't post over api post manually get a va to post for you directly on the reddit site and not some bots or api services buying upvotes will also get you banned because reddit now can detect very very good which upvotes are real and which are bought you can upvote if you are ready to lose the account if you run some suicide strategies or something but in this video we talk about how to not get banned so if you don't want to get banned don't buy any upvotes and play safe that's what i like to do i play safe build a lot of accounts and then after time you will profit a lot of them because they have a very very good trust score five posts per day no upvotes on 10 to 20 accounts that works very very good and the accounts are in different niches that's the safest way for me to post now on reddit that's my current favorite strategy another big mistake is reposting the same content without spoofs if you don't spoof your content or use a spoofer why is the mistake reddit detects your content which is already posted it can look on the hash uh, hash word i forgot the english name of it <laughs> hash value hash value hash 
Haschwert of in German, man. Shit, I forgot it. It takes the hash, shit, and uh, metadata. And all every photo has metadata. And Reddit can find that photo were already posted if it has the same metadata like another photo. So before you repost a photo or a video again which you already posted on Reddit, first run it through a content spoofer. That content spoofer will make your photo or video unique again. And when you got a unique photo or video, you can repost it again on Reddit. But without that reddit will detect that your content were already posted on reddit and you stole it or you just want to spam on the reddit side one of both things so before you repost content run it through a spoofer if you're looking for a spoofer link is in the description how to get a higher trust score i mean we talked about there are two kinds of bands auto bands from bots ai and uh, from the reddit algorithm or bots from the subreddit people now we talk about the trust score because that affects the auto moderation system of reddit how to get a high trust score just act like a normal user the more you act like a normal user with normal user behavior the higher your trust score will get the more you comment on other people's posts the more you upvote other people's posts the more real you will look comment other shit and one important stuff, use original captions. I told you in an old video, I told you to just copy the top post, but to rewrite them a little bit. For now, every caption of your post has to be original. Because if it's not original, you will get the shots are high that you get banned because where it's just don't like it if you steal content at mass. So make every caption original. What I tell you in this video, if you want to be successful now on Reddit, it's quality over quantity. Back then it was quantity, now it's quality because you can't post as much as before. Use original captions. Give you a VA some ideas or let your VA think about 100 captions and then use them or rewrite the top captions. Also a small thing, I think it costs five to ten dollars, I forgot. Buy Reddit Premium, I mean it will increase your trust score a little bit because who is spending money on a Reddit account if it's a bot and he's ready to lose and it just shows yeah you are a normal user and shit like that. And also you can use this little guy emoji profile picture instead of your normal one that will save you from the not safe for work profile picture. Make you look way more real than with others. And also use new pictures, always create new content for it, you need a lot of content you can't reuse the content if you don't spoof him. Post new pictures every time. Don't post the same picture again if you haven't edited it and the metadata changed. What should you do after you got a Reddit ban to not get banned again? New browser profile for your anti-detected browser. Then new account. I mean, simple. Your old account is banned. You can't post on them anymore. After that, get a new email. At best, you will get a Gmail account. They are the safest ones. If your bot account hasn't included already an email. Then get a new name, it will make you safer. If your first account was Stacy, then the next one Alice. Or if Alice is banned, name the new one Anna. Or just make a new name for every account. Somehow it feels like it's decreasing my ban rate. I mean, first you can say, yeah, it looks weird and that you have a different name on Reddit than on OnlyFans. But people, you can just tell them in chat, yeah, I don't want to tell them my real name on Reddit and my real name is on OnlyFans because people here have a different connection with me and just tell them some shit and they will believe it and also get a new proxy for every account if you like I said if your proxy is banned use a new account if your proxy is banned you can't use it anymore for reddit you have to get a new proxy so invest in good proxies so your account get less banned so you have to buy less proxies links for proxies in the bio also after your account is banned you can't reuse all the content anymore you have to use new one or you have to mass edit the account and change the metadata therefore we use spoofers like i said what does a spoofer does he edits the account on mass where the visual impacts are so little that it will look like the same picture but for all the detection systems it will look like a new picture Picture. And also all the hash and metadata will be changed so Reddit can't find it again and ban you because of the metadata or something. If you're looking for spoofer, check out the links in the description. That's it. If you follow all the stuffs, you won't get banned on Reddit anymore. If you want, I made a Telegram channel. There I will send in a file with a checklist where everything is written. What you have to do to not get banned on Reddit. Check it out. I will drop more value there. Thank you for watching and bye.